Hello, writers. We're gonna start working on something new. We've been doing labeling, we've been making booklets, we've been using word banks. Now we're gonna be starting something new and I love doing this. We're gonna be making lists. And I bet you can think of a lot of things to make lists of. So a list is a group of things and usually they have something in common, meaning something that's the same about them. So when I go to the grocery store, I make a list of the things I need to get. Otherwise, I leave the store and I say, oopsie, Miss Seltzer, you forgot to buy tomatoes. Or oopsie, Miss Seltzer, you forgot to get milk. So sometimes it's good to have a list with you. And probably um, some of your grown-ups do the same thing. And we're gonna start making a list of our favorite candies, or it could even just be any kind of candies. And I thought that would be something good to start with because it was just Halloween. And I bet many of you got a lot of candy. So our list for favorite candy looks like this, and it says up top favorite candy, and I numbered it one to 10 and down at the bottom, always write your name and you might have more than 10 candies and you can keep going but before we start how are we going to start we're going to start with think 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 plan 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 draw and write draw and write and we are going to remember to stretch out the word as far as we can so that we can hear all of the sounds in that word, in the name of the candy. And I'm gonna do some examples, but you might not have the same favorite candies as Miss Seltzer has, and that's okay. Doesn't have to be the same as anybody else's. But I'm gonna start with some of my favorite candies. And I'm gonna use the whiteboard because it's bigger, but I'm also going to write it on my, um, on my list paper. And remember, you can always draw a little picture, but I'd really like you to use as many letters as you hear in the name of your candy as you can, okay? And there's something else I wanna remind you about. You might not spell it the exact right way, and that's okay too. That's called best guess spelling or inventive spelling. You're using your best guess, listening to the word or the name of something and listening for the letter sounds you hear and then matching them to letters on your paper. Best guess spelling, and that's what we do and that's okay. So, hmm, let me think of my favorite candy. Well, I like Reese's, I like Reese's. So I hear the Reese's. So something else, if you're saying a kind of candy, just like chocolate or gum, it's a lowercase letter. But if you're saying something that's a certain name or brand of candy, this is a little tricky. It starts with what kinds of letter? Upper case. So Reese's is the name of a brand of candy, which means I need to write it with an upper case letter. Reese's, Reese's. And that's another tricky one. I heard a Z at the end. Now I know there's not a Z there because I know how to spell it, but you hear the Z and that's what you write and that's called best guess spelling. So I'm gonna tell you another candy that students in my class really like. Ms. Seltzer does not like these, but students in my class 
pick this for their number one choice of candy. So I'm going to do this one next. Skittles. Skittles. And Skittles is a certain brand of candy. So it starts with what kind of an S? Upper case. Sk, sk. That's tricky because it's two letters blended together. S, K. I'm going to give you a hint there. Sk, I. Oh, Skittles. And again, I hear a Z at the end. I know it's an S. But it sounds like a Z. And if that's what you write, because that's what you hear, best guess spelling. Um, I'm going to do one more. Hmm. I'm going to look up on my chart to see what my students in my class really liked. Oh, they liked lollipops. So lollipops can be any brand. Lollipops is just the name of the candy that comes on a stick doesn't have to have an uppercase letter. So, ooh, ah, like octopus, ooh, e, p, ah, p, s, la, li, pa, Okay, and you can also draw a little picture next to it. So I wrote Reese's Skittles lollipops, and I'm gonna I'm gonna write them on my paper. I wrote them on my right board, my whiteboard first, just to practice. But I'm gonna write Reese's, and I'm taking my time, and I'm gonna draw a little peanut butter cup when I'm done. It's just gonna be a circle with little ridges around it because they usually have like little ridges and I'll probably color it brown. I'm going to write Skittles. And I'm going to draw little colored circles. Well, I'm going to draw them and then I'm going to color them. And then I'm going to write lollipops. Lollipops. And I'm gonna draw a circle on a stick. So, um, I have Reese's, I have Skittles, I have lollipops. You might not like any of them, and that's okay. So, I'm gonna show you mine. You don't have to write these. So I have Reese's, and I drew a peanut butter cup, Skittles, lollipops. Just to name some other candies you might like. Kisses, Hershey's Kisses, M&M's. Ooh, that's a good one to start with. M and it's uppercase. M, I think it is, I'm not even sure. And M's, M&M's. Maybe you like Snickers. Maybe you like, I'm looking at my list that my class made. Let's see what else did they like. They liked gum. Oh, Kit Kat. That's a good one to sound out and stretch out. K-I-T. K-I-T. I bet if you like Kit Kats, you can write that one. So I'm getting a little hungry. And it's time for you to work on your favorite candy list. Have fun.